Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen, and I'm starting on week four of my scripture writing, and I got an invitation from Roxanne of the Maker Heart Studio to the Facebook group. I didn't realize that there was a Facebook group devoted uh, to this 13-week scripture writing plan, so of course I joined, <laughs> and uh, then she had a video showing everything in the kit which made me forget about everything in the kit because I had just printed out a few things um, <clears throat> that I wanted to get started with. And so I did go ahead and print this beautiful pattern paper. You know, that's about the size of a traveler's notebook. Um, if, if you want to consider that, I think I'm just going to use them as like background elements or to layer. And, the, and I just uh, did it on regular printer paper. Uh, and then, yeah, I had forgotten all about these. I know, how stunning. How could I forget about them? <laughs> bad Karen, bad Karen. So anyway, look at these beautiful fonts. So I'm going to go back, and I think I'm going to uh, pull some of these things uh, to put in my first three weeks. Uh, and then I'm going to get started on week four. So hold on. All right, so I cut out, uh, yeah, Romans in this font. Um, so as you can see, there's several fonts to choose from. And then on my week, my number, I chose to go with uh, this font. And on the paper, I, um, let me move this, I just tore out the corners and I'm going to use those as little decorative elements. So let me get the, these glued down. I'm just using an Elmer's school, school glue stick. <laughs> and using a scratch sheet of paper to protect my surface. I'm going to line it up with the lines, not go all the way to the edge of my page. And same up here. Yeah, I was excited to see that there was a Facebook group uh, devoted to this uh, because then some uh, other participants are sharing uh, their pages and videos. So it's fun to see how other people, you know, take the same kit and and then get their get their creative take on it. And again, I'm glad uh, I saw that and Roxanne invited me because then I watched her YouTube and realized, Oh, Karen, there's a whole bunch more of this kit that you have not used. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> and I think I'm going to... Yep, I like that. But I'm going to clean up that edge a bit. Printables uh, are cost effective. Uh, now it can get pricey if you decide to use, you know, the clear labels, which I enjoy. But this I just uh, put on uh, regular printer paper, copy paper, and the same with the um, pattern paper there. So you you can keep it cost effective. And something like that, I think. Yeah, so this I did on the Avery Clear Label Sheets. And... 
Mine helped me there. Get that straight. How is the weather where you are? <laughs> it's been a little bit of everything here. <laughs> it's quite interesting to say the least. Definitely keep the weather on. Just to see, is it time to go grocery shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Although since we kind of had almost back to back uh, snow and ice events, I got pretty well stocked up. So I should be good for a, for a while. All right, let's see if I can get this straight. That would be so disappointing if I didn't. Is there something I can kind of line myself up with? Okay. All right, so I'm going to go to Bible Gateway and read my different translations. And I, I cut this out to... Uh, Depending on how much room I need, I may or may not use this, but it complemented that paper beautifully. And uh, <clears throat> also, uh, once I printed out those scriptures, decided to add to my other pages. Yeah, I'm, I'm really tickled. Yeah, so these I printed out on the clear label. And by the way, you don't have to, let me see if I can find, yeah. You know, uh, she has it beautifully laid out in the full scripture, uh, and I wanted to add it, but I didn't have room because I'd already written my scriptures. So, yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, piece it apart. Uh, and so that's what I did here, so I could use all of the scripture. And uh, week two, I filled up, so I didn't have any room there. And here's another one that I um, pieced, uh, pieced out. <laughs> um, and, and I, yeah, I like the way that turned out uh, too. So, all right. So I'm going to go read my scripture, get it uh, written down, and then we'll be right back. So hold on. All right. So I read all of the Bible verses in different versions and translations and then wrote them down. And so this is the finish of week four. This is fun. You need to <laughs> you need to try that. You know, choose one of your favorite verses, and then go to Bible Gateway, and uh, look at all the different translations and versions. It uh, um, I don't know may bring you more insight. Who knows. <laughs> All right, good people, if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not already. Just hit that subscribe button. Those of you that do subscribe, you know I appreciate you. Let's do the wave by. Look forward to doing some faith journaling with you next time.